learners, welcome to the English language classroom. We are learning lot of grammar. Today is also a grammar lesson. This is part 7 of time and tense in the series grammar in context. Today we will learn simple future tense and future continuous tense. This lesson is meant for classes 6, 7, 8 because this time and tense we learn in all the three classes. Of course, in classes 9 and 10 also, but let us focus, keep it for classes 6, 7, 8. Learners, with me is Kriti and you of course, we will together discuss, learn through examples and use of simple future tense and future continuous. Kriti? Yes, sir. So, how is life? How are you feeling? I feel fine, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me ask you some questions. Sure, sir. What are you planning, learners, you, this is for you also, what are you planning to do in the next year? Sir, I will go to the university to pursue my bachelor's in English. So, only English, well, well, that is good, I, I, I would like it, great then, okay. Then, afterwards? Sir, I do not know, I will do my further studies. Fine, you will do further studies, okay, then good planning. We should plan like this, learners, we should actually plan for the forthcoming probably 10 to 15 years, so that our focus is clear, our concentration is clear, I am planning, but things may happen different manner. So, why I asked you to uh, planning, I will do this, I will do that, I shall do that, somebody say, no, you shall do that. So, they are all future plans and future actions. Yes, sir. Aren't they? Yes, sir. Yeah. In that case, let us learn how to use future planning, how to say the future planning in future tense. So, we are going to see today simple future, then future continuous tense. Some action we will be doing progressively in the future, in the forthcoming future time. So, before we move on to learners, let us also learn the objectives of this lesson. So, Kirti is telling us the objectives of this lesson. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, the learners will be able to understand time and tense, use future and future continuous tense in context, discover the forms, future and future continuous tense forms and use them in speech and writing appropriately. Okay, those are the objectives. We learn simple future and future continuous. Okay, let us see some examples in which these two sentences are noticed okay, and used. Okay, here are the sentences. Let me read out first, then Kriti also will read out. Learners, as the sentences appear, look at the underlined words, also the meaning. Understand the meaning also, just knowing the verb you as used will not help, we should know the meaning of the sentence. So, all learning is meaning making, we make meaning when we understand, for example, we understand what this computer is, it has a meaning and when we speak, how are you, it conveys a meaning, a function. So, language is for meaning and function. So, notice the words underlined in bold, okay. Let me read out the sentences. I will go to the city tomorrow, she will learn how to live, Ravi will lead the team in the year 2021, Sharin will act as the chairperson of the group, India will be a superpower in the years to come, I shall complete the work by evening, Vandana will reach the place the next morning, they will demand many things for their living and life will be tough now. Come on learners, Kriti is going to read for you, look at it and understand what do they convey, come on. I will go to the city tomorrow, she will learn how to live, Ravi will lead the team in the year 2021, Sharon will act as the chairperson of the group, India will be a superpower in years to come. A good thing. I shall complete the work by evening. Vardana will reach the place next morning. 
they will demand many things for their living. Life will be tough now. Fine. All right. We have seen will live, will do this, shall do this. What time they refer to? They are referring to a time which is in future. Future. And some of the sentences are future events, some of them are predictions. She shall be arriving, she will arrive tomorrow, she will reach tomorrow. All these are your predictions and something it will rain now, it is another prediction. Suppose look at that eighth sentence, they will demand many things for their living. So, they may not even demand, but yeah. you, you are uh, feeling it. So, your perception also, uh, then the train will arrive, scheduled plan. I will go to the city tomorrow is a plan. So, future tense is used for many occasions which refer to future. So, look at look at some more sentences. I will I'll ask you to read out some eight sentences. They are there with you and learners, you can see them. Yeah, please. Raga will do the work in three days. The world will overcome this trouble soon. Who will help me in completing the work? You shall meet me in the evening. The captain of the ship will make an announcement soon. It might rain now. Take an umbrella. We are going to start a new business. The train is about to leave. Kriti, the sentences you have read out, let us let us look at them. Raga will do the work in three days. The world will overcome the trouble soon. Who will help me in completing the work? So, what does the person expect there? They expecting expectation. Expect somebody will somebody will help me. You shall meet me in the evening. You shall meet me. So, I am putting a compulsion on you. Kirti, let me tell you the learners. Will, shall, my, may, might, ought, must, they are all known as models which we will discuss separately how the use of will is different from shall. So, when somebody says shall, a kind of slight compulsion is there. I shall do the work for you. Do not worry, I am there, I must do the work for you. So, that we will discuss in some other discussion. Let us only now concentrate on how future time, future time reference is reported, said. Okay. Like that many sentences, let us come to the seventh and eighth sentence. We are going to start a new business now. We are going to start. What is the tense there? Future tense. Future tense. But what is the uh, verb used? Are going to. Are going to. Present continuous tense. But it is in, though it is said in present progressive, it means future tense. Yes. Future time. Yes. So, we are, I am going to reach there, means I will reach there. So, learners note going to also mean future tense. Then look at the next ones, time schedule. The train is about to leave. The program is about to start. Is plus two yes. is about to. So, what does it mean? It also reports the future action. So, it is not that will, shall, those used, then it can be. We can use, we can also use are going to or is about to. Yeah, is for going future, to. Is for, going to. For future tense. So, so, there are, look at the underlying words. What are, what are the underlying words? Will do, hmm. will overcome, will help, shall meet, will make, might rain, are going to, is about to. Fine. So, learners, let us understand future tense, future time reference, simple future is an action which is taking place in future. Let us do some activities to understand this better. The task is the same pattern of exercise. I will give you two options. You select the most appropriate one. Okay, okay. sir. First, India will produce or India produces more grains in the next year. India will produce more grains in the next year. Prakash shall work or Prakash works hard to clear the test. Prakash shall work hard to clear the test. Tarun will lead or leads the team in the final match. Tarun will lead the team in the final match. Anita will write or Anita writes a letter to the Prime Minister. Anita will write a letter to the Prime Minister. 
she is going to or she goes to consult a doctor tomorrow she is going to consult a doctor tomorrow the doctor will prescribe or doctor prescribes medicines the doctor will prescribe medicines my teacher is going to be or my teacher is on leave in the next week my teacher is going to be on leave in the next week we need to plan what we will do or what we do for the next two decades we need to plan what we will do for the next two decades education will support our education supports in our future education will support in our future all those who make fun of you shall prize you one day or all those who make fun of you today prize you one day all those who make fun of you shall praise you one of the days fine look at the verbs either present tense or future tense are given you appropriately chose those future tense reference referring to time so learners now you must have arrived at some sort of understanding where future tense is used so for the benefit of the learners and we ourselves let's also read out when we use simple future let me read out first then you repeat it the future tense is used to refer to an action which takes place in future and the future you cannot control over it also suppose you say she shall come to meet me but it, she may not also come so but any future reference meaning i am for another thing we said going to also mean future the country is going to win the match against particular team so then it's a future time but it's also prediction it may not also happen so uh, before that you also have to read the uh, benefit of learners when is future tense used come on sure sir mm. future tense is used to refer to an action which takes place in future fine our learners understand up to that any action which refers to future i will do it i will complete this work i will go i will go to the city i will meet my friends these that many many such things so future tense now here are some sentences for you you will have to supply the appropriate words future reference words to fill in the blanks okay sir the world will find or the world finds vaccine to cure the disease spread by the virus the world will find vaccine to cure the disease spread by the virus so when you say the world will find you are hoping hoping yeah. yes or you are perceiving yeah. sheila shall play or plays the match if she wants to win sheila shall play the match if she wants to win so what does it mean it means that it is kind of a prediction in the future not only prediction she has to play no she compulsion she has to play compulsion, compulsion. as well ah, yes okay kavin will ask kavin ask the team to let him play as the opener kavin will ask the team to let him play as an opener okay fine his classmates will do or classmates do all the work today and tomorrow his classmates will do all the work today and tomorrow fine it will rain or it rains tonight it will rain tonight okay prediction prediction the members will contribute or the members contribute money to complete the work the members will contribute money to complete the work he is going to or he will be the chief he is going to be the chief okay the teacher is going to or the teacher is announcing the results today the teacher is going to announce the results today okay let me say it again the teacher is going to or the teacher is announce the results today the teacher is going to announce the results today fine wait someone is going to 
or someone is inform you the facts wait someone is going to inform you the facts next we shall or we are overcome all the troubles we shall overcome all the troubles very good nice fine learners we have now somehow learnt future simple now let's move on to future continuous tense kriti yes sir and also the learners so now we are clear when do we use future simple future tense yes sir when if there is a kind of a prediction for the future if there is a compulsion in yes. the future if uh, any future action and in any future action we will do yes simple future tense okay now come on let's move on to discuss learn future continuous okay sir so an action which takes place in the future is referred to as future tense then let us say continuous so how do you see the future continuous an action which will continue in the future oh, fine all right great now we will now discuss future continuous so let's read some sentences kriti is going to read out for you come on sure sir oh. now we will discuss future continuous tense let us do it by reading some sentences in future continuous tense my friend will be visiting us next week mukun will be giving his text next month shril will be leaving for usa soon the teacher will be giving us a lot of homework at the end of this session my mother will be waiting for us we should move now fine all right learners look at those highlighted underlined words there let me read out to you again my friend will be visiting us next week mukund will be giving his test next month she will be leaving for usa shril will be leaving for usa soon the teacher will be giving us a lot of homework at the end of the session quite naturally <laughs> my mother will be waiting for us so we should move now look at it what are those underlined words kriti read out sure sir huh. will be visiting will be giving will be leaving will be giving will be waiting okay it can be sometimes shall be or a kind of thing look at it uh, this sentences what do they convey they convey future the action which will be going to happen in the future and continuing in and the conti future and will continue in the uh, future continue so we call it future progressive all right so when are we using future continuous tense here are the occasions where we use future progressive future continuous tense come on let me read out then kriti also will read out for you we use future continuous tense to refer to actions which shall be in progress at a time in the future suppose i say i shall be teaching in a university from 2025 it starts in 2025 then it continues, continues. fine we also use future continuous to refer to actions which are already planned the train is about to come hmm? i knew he will i knew that he will do it yes i know that examination will take place as planned so we are also using simple future for a planned action or expected to happen in a normal course of time monsoon will arrive in june end in the in northern part of india in middle of june summer has arrived uh what say winter will as uh, will set in in november december so these are all regular course of weather there we will use future tense so you read out to the learners where we will use future continuous sure sir mm. we use future continuous tense to refer to actions which will be in progress at a time in the future fine we we also use present continuous we also use future continuous tense to refer to actions which are already planned or which are expected to happen in the normal course of time fine like no uh, we said 
monsoon will arrive, it will rain, those kinds of things which are continuous is used. Come on, let us further understand and apply the how future continuous is used. I have got some sentences, set of sentences for you. You are going to choose from the two options the most appropriate one to refer to the time here. The driver will be driving us to the city or the driver is driving us to the city. The driver will be driving us to the city. Okay. In future, In future continu continu continuous. Yes. Soldiers will be fighting or soldiers have been fighting a tough war in the next year. The soldiers will be fighting a tough war in the next year. We are going to write the assignment together or we are writing the assignment together. We are going to write the assignments together. The leader will address or the leader addresses the gathering tonight. The leader will address the gathering tonight. The train will be reaching or the train reaches late as it started late. The train will be reaching late as it started late. My father shall be advising me on this or my father advises me on this. My father shall be advising me on this. My mother will be reaching or my mother reaches by this time tomorrow. My mother will be reaching by this time tomorrow. Fine. All right, learners, one is future, just event, prediction, hope, perception, I will do it, she shall help me, there is that, they are future action. Another is future continuous, an action which starts and in progress. So, let us demonstrate it on the board now, so that by how the time, future time in which future progress is indicated, we will do it. Come on, let us write some sentences. Sure, sir. He will do the work tomorrow. Next, I shall meet him next week. Third, we are going to start, we are going to start a new business. Fine. Fourth sentence, the teacher will be giving us homework. They will be taking up the new job. Fine. Let us look at the sentences now again. Okay, Kriti, sir. Yes, sir. Read the sentence. He will do the work tomorrow. Then? I shall meet him next week. Fine. We are going to start a new business. Then? The teacher will be giving us homework. They will be taking up the new job. Fine. Look at, look at the first three sentences. Now, we can see this is, let us say, uh, future time. Write future here in all caps. So, in future, this future, yes, these three actions, I will do the work tomorrow. I will start and do it, finish it. I will start doing it. Yes, so, sir. a particular point of time, that is yes, all. Sir. Then, I shall meet him next week, though it is a compulsion prediction, but I shall be, just I will meet him. It is a point of work. Yes, sir. That same way we are going to start a business. We will start a business. Suppose someone say, we will be doing a business, then continuous doing. We are going to starting is one action. But look at these three, these two sentences. Future again, the future start the action and will be continuing. Teacher will be giving us homework. She will be continuously giving. Yes. So, that is what future continuous. This is future. Simple this future. Future. So, future continuous. Fine, that will be do. Then, we will be taking up the job. Continuously, Again. they will be doing yes. the job. So, whereas, this is 
one action there it ends in future it will begin and ends learners we have now demonstrated kriti and myself how simple future and future continuous works in context in a sentence we have said an action just happens in future reference future tense then an action which starts some point of time in future in continues is future continuous learners we hope you have understood this simple future and future continuous so use them appropriately in context and we have said more than uh, probably 5 6 times language learning is meaning making if you don't make meaning and write meaning convey meaning there's no language learning so make a distinction between simple future and future continuous learners here are some more sentences for you but this time slightly kriti there's a table which you can see and one side i'm going to sum, give some sentences in simple present you are going to convert them into simple future and future progressive that is future continuous okay i study in school i will study in school i will be studying in school fine very good learners got the point likewise all the sentences you convert i read the book i will read the book i will be reading the book fine i run every day i will run every day i will be running every day yeah there's a problem there every day is simple present so i will run in future i will be running in, in future, future. Okay. okay all right i meet my friend i will meet my friend i will be meeting my friend right. okay i write a short story now i will write a short story i will be writing a short story oh, fine i think of going on a picnic i will be going on a picnic hmm. i will go on a picnic fine all right learners there are two things one basic thing the essential thing in language learning is meaning i will run every day next week i will be running the entire three months to come and but i run every day fine as a habit and planning to run in future fine learners we hope that you have learned and some more sentences for you before we tell you the discover uh, make you discover the rules of future continuous here are some more for you you will complete by supplying will or going to or will be with ing rahul will write or he is writing a letter to the office tomorrow rahul will be writing a letter to the officer tomorrow or yeah, it can be it can be also uh, said it like this rahul is going to write a letter to the officer tomorrow and and rahul will write a letter also fine so most appropriate i would prefer rahul will write a letter okay fine archana is going to or archana goes to meet her friend in the evening archana is going to meet her friend in the evening fine they shall be consulting or they consult a good doctor for their treatment they shall be consulting a good doctor for their treatment fine you will be taking or you take medicine only after consulting a doctor you will be taking medicine only after consulting a doctor fine we shall be eating or we eat nutritious food to help ourselves healthy we shall be eating nutritious food to keep ourselves healthy right well then now let us understand learners how future continuous tense is used let me read out we use future continuous tense to refer to actions which will be in progress at a time in future it starts in future and continues we will see as we have seen in the whiteboard demonstration so future continuous reference to action or already planned also we can use and are expected to happen in the normal course of time that also we are using now learners we have seen how future tense is used 
for your future action, prediction, sometimes hope, perception also. Yes, sir. But continuous tense, an action which is in progress at a time in future. So, Kriti, yes, there sir. are two things. Let us also read out as we have done in the other lessons, the learning outcome. Here is the learning outcome for you. Learning outcomes of this lesson. Learners, speak and write grammatically correct sentences for a variety of situations using noun, pronoun, verbs, adverbs, determiners and tenses. Dear learners, we have come to the end of this part 7 of the series time and tense, grammar in context, grammar and action. We have learned today how to use future reference, future time, simple future, then future continuous. We started with some activities, objectives and ended with learning outcomes. We also demonstrated on the board. Thank you very much for participating. Let me also thank Kriti for having been part of it, doing, initiating activities and making us do. Thank you, Kriti. I also thank Meganathan sir for having me here in such an engaging session. And I also thank all the learners for participating with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.